Hello there. Uh, what's up, guys? This is Rick Slight signing, and welcome back to. Well, not welcome back, but. Yeah, it technically is welcome back to Project Zero, but now we're going to move on to Project Zero 2, as like the little roulette did from the last Project Zero video we did. Well, fail frame, as I'm going to be calling the title. But you can see the uh, same symbol in the background, meaning zero, is still there. But without further ado, let's start. Wait, I'm not ready for this yet. I was, I'm not being preparing myself for these. So, how does this work? Should prep myself up for a spooky time. That is right in my face. That's not too bad actually. I should put that. I don't want to bend my back though. Put that back there. Put it behind me so I get a little bit of illumination because I like having some backlight. Set that up. There we go. We can have some spooky times. Some spooky times. New game. Normal, please. This is probably going to be end up me dying somewhere along the lines, but hey ho. Let's fucking go. Got this for an hour. As well as so, we're gonna try and get this day sorted. Didn't we always promise each other that we would always be together. Try and get as much as I can. So, can I'll get as much as I can do sorted. As soon as I can. This time we've got subtitles, which is also good. But let's see what this deals with us. Say this is from 2004. The graphics look pretty ace. The uh, English remake of this game was not that good. Is your leg okay? Does it hurt? It does a little bit. I'm fine. Mio? Mio! <laughs> Never mind. Mio! Mayu? Yeah, a lot of YouTubers have done this game for some unknown reason. Like, Jack's done it, Felix has done it, uh, Mark's done it. I don't know why they chose number two. Probably to some people, I think this is the scariest one they've played. But also, it was on Xbox 360. No, X Xbox, the original Xbox, as well as the PS2. But for number three, it was um, PlayStation 3 only. So. That's probably why a lot, not a lot of them played it at that point, but um, I played all of these, each and every one. I've not played number four because that was a Japan only reason, I can't get it, I can't get it to play it at all, so I do rip that game. I've seen bits and pieces of it, I might do a let's watch on it, but like give all the rights to the person who created the content just so I can see my reactions, but I really don't know, depends how it goes really. I don't want to take credit for what other people have done. So I'll probably leave that unmonetized and like a reaction kind of thing on it. Maybe, I don't know. No idea. It's going to be hard, though. It's probably just going to be me watching it and basically or whatever. Alright. Same controls as last time. Circle for the camera. I don't know yet. I haven't got the camera. Alright, let's go. All square seems to be the same premise. Go back to the Resident Evil controls. Wait, I just said Mayu. Mio! Wee! <laughs> gonna have so much fun with that. It's gonna be my calming down time when I'm too spooked. Ooh, spooky! Ooh, I'm a ghost! <laughs> I'm joining with the game. I'm a ooh, I'm a spooky ghost! <laughs> Alright, let's be serious about this now. This is a serious game. No comedy. Love it though. Is that... This is slightly linked to number one with um, the two twins in this game because they're called Sahe and Yahe. I don't know which is which, but I know Yahe survives, so I'm assuming Sahe is the crazy one. We'll see her later. Don't know how much later, but we'll see her somewhere. 
I might do a chapter per video. I'm not 100% sure how to play this one yet, because each time I play a different game, I'm going to play it a little bit differently. Like, in the last one, it was kind of roughly like a chapter each, because there's only four chapters in the game anyway, but usually an hour, hour per video. Oh, butterflies! Oh! Hello there. Is that what I'm saying, I might do an abridged channel, I don't know. I might get my friend to like, just give him like, the audio. Not even the audio file, just like the video file. And let him dub over it, see how he feels about it. I don't know. We'll see how it goes about that one. I'll pay him for it as well. I've heard about this place. It'd be cool. A long time ago, there was a village here that disappeared during a festival. People who get lost in the woods are trapped by the village. Could this be that place? Well, at least I found my freaking sister already. Hey, there's gonna be a freaking coral leaf under that. Let's go pick it up. Yeah, we play Zelda too much. Let's not try and mix the Japanese games here. Can we move? Can we move? Now we can move. Okay. It's a very... I think you can take a picture of a ghost up here. That was like the first ghost you can see. Because you're fucking crazy, girl. Right. I need to pay attention to where these stone thingies are, because I remember some of this game. I remember... I remember when I originally played this, I got a little bit stuck. Because I didn't know where the hell I was going, and now I remember where that is. Go on, Mayu. Mew! <laughs> I want to watch Mark play this game again. It's been quite a while. Okay, let's go see what this blue dot says. I'm sure they changed them into, and they still like little sparkles. You see blue dots now, so they're more easier to spot. A black bag. There's a piece of paper and a photo inside. News public coming from a year ago. The headline reads, Geological Surveyor Missing. With the start of construction for Old God's Dam approaching, Masayumi Makimura, 26 years old, a geological surveyor dispatched to the area has gone missing. Mr. Makimura went to the area to investigate the site that would be submerged once the dam was built, but hasn't been heard from for five days. Officially, someone has to be gone missing for 48 days before you can actually find out a search. Did you know that? The search of Mr. Yumi Makiura, the surveying missing since the 4th of this month, came close, came to a close yesterday. Mr. Makiura has been held, helping to conduct a geological survey for Old God's Dam. As of yesterday, he has been missing for 10 days. They don't, they don't look very long. A photo of a man and woman are attached to the news clipping. You put the news clipping and photo with a couple in your file. Yeah, yeah, we know how to play the game. A lot of fucking people are here, babe. So I'm calling you babe now, that just makes no sense, I've never said that word. I have, but it been a very long time ago. Mayu, I know you can't freaking walk, but please, wait, do I play as Mayu or am I playing as Mio? It's a ghost! It's a spooky ghost! Ooh, I'm joining the spooky, spooky, spookies! I'm looking at the distances. I don't know. I love to play the game again, like, on New Game Plus, but I don't think I got it on this save file. We did for number two, though, didn't we? I think we might need to say that ourselves. Someone's inside. I wonder if anyone's here. She's very fucking spooky. Very spooky. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me yet? Ooh! I didn't hear that before. Yeah. I don't know if it said, are you hearing me yet, or are you near me yet? No idea. We're going to be in this place for quite a while, though, so... Jesus, don't fucking do this to me, dude. Number one is a lot more spooky than number two. I can handle number two. I can only just handle number one. I cannot handle number three. There's so much shit that happens in number three that just gets me going. Just got to look around a little bit more, though. Oh, there's someone here. I just saw the fucking ghost through the window. Should we go inside? She does not want to be here. Mayu? Mayu? She might be related to Miku. I don't know. Because they've got, like, um, a telepathic link. And this is exactly what Mayu is seeing. She's linked to the spirit realm, in a sense. Twins. 
trying to listen out for things. I don't want to kill anyone. We are going to play the um, the Wii version of this game, but we're going to do that as like a daily thing, and not like a every ten days kind of thing like I do for this one. So I've got like so many videos going on at the same time, like eight different videos going off a week. And my friend said that's a little bit too much. I've got nine, sorry. I've got nine a week, and that's a little bit over excessive. But that's just me because I like to have like do it in a monthly thing. But that's going to change a little bit soon with. Prey? Only with Prey, though. I won't do it with any other game. Just with Prey. I won't go too far, okay? Okay, let's go find a safe point then. Yay! Mio dance! It's not even a dance, it's like a, a whooshy whoosh kind of thing. Okay, what's in the middle? Let's go pick up this thing. So I always forget something in this place. Number number one! I can't find number three, I think it is. Same with the tapes. I've heard rumors about the Lost Village before. Long ago, a massacre occurred on the day of a ceremony and the village was wiped from the map. Twin deity statues in the forest lead lost people to the village entrance. Once you pass through the gate, however, you cannot go back. The village eternally relives that night of death. The insane laughter of a woman is said to echo throughout the village. The only survivor of the massacre at the village was a lone woman. Alrighty then, let's gonna go through this door. Fucking hate this door. So okay, I will admit some parts of this game is scary. But in my opinion, it's the least scariest one. Depending on what the fuck happens, because back there is some fucking spooky shit that I don't even want to ingest. Hey, number two. Sometimes I sense someone passing by the window. He carries a torch and mutters things. He seems to be searching for somebody, but it's not Masumi. In the distance, I can see us hear some kind of sad ceremonial song being sung. It's not Sleeping Priestess, that's number three. They say that this village vanished on the day of a ceremony, and that day is repeated over and over again. All right. Why are you holding your hands and why is my pad vibrating? This isn't dimmed so I can save. Save game. Uh, yes, please. So you can only save it in slot one because I've got that one. But I've been playing that for 40 minutes so I don't know where that fucking came from. We'll save over that one, thanks. <clears throat> Okay, that time is a lie. I've been playing a lot longer than five minutes. Alright. Oh well. Because over here... Some spooky shit. I think that's what vibrated this was opening. I feel like we're being watched by someone. I know. I know we are. But it's alright. We're safe in here. Fuck trying to go to sleep early tonight. I'm not even going to go to sleep early tonight. Fucking shift, Mayu. Oh, you bitch. We're gonna fall out easily. Alright, we'll come back in here later. But that's, uh, that's our common save room. Come on, Mayu! I know these two names. I just can't tell. I think Sahe is the one that you can hear the laughter of. Right, do we go upstairs or do we go round? I wanna go upstairs first. I feel like something's... I don't wanna run around too much with... Um, Mayu, because she's a little bit slow with her leg. So try and keep her under wraps. Is it her with the bad leg? You can see it on her. Yeah, you can see it on her knee. It's been like that for years. Yeah, let's try this door. Right, what do I need for this door? I need. Uh, there's a padlock engraved with a family crest representing ginger. The symbol for ginger. Fucking move, Mayu, please. I'm being slow here for a reason so you can keep up with me. Alright, dodgy camera angles. Thank you for coming back to me. Did not want you here, but I'm going to have to accept you and live in peace. I okay. for you. Come on, Mayo, let's follow the fucking spooky ghost. I'm a ghost. Ooh, I'm a ghost! Spooky! Ooh! <laughs> oh dear, this game is a lot more... I don't know, because with the remake for the Wii... It is a little bit more spooky in places, but the voice acting really destroys the horror. Which probably was what put me down, like, number two was, like, less spooky, so that. 
I don't know. Cold. Yeah, that means a ghost nearby, girl. Don't worry about it. You'll be fine. Should we through that conveyor, maybe? Yeah, I think we'll see you in a minute. Yay, number three! Masumi. It's me, Mayoka. I came to look for you. Let's go home together. Together we can make it. Call for me if you find this. I'll be nearby. Miss you. It's a spooky ghost! Someone's really here. Hell, there will be someone here. Right. Okay, there's gonna be a ghost in there in a minute. I know that. Oh, I remember a fucking scene in this that did actually put me on edge. Maya, would you stop fucking getting in my way? Or up and diss the fucking pier, right? Okay, right, what does it say in this? There's some murky water in the wash basin. Okay, that's not what I wanted. Cold, damp wind is blowing from the atrium. There are lanterns at the back of the garden. They're lit. Okay, let's go. Okay, so let's come in here to read her book. Now we're going to go back down the other way. Because there's two more doors to express. And fucking ghosts and shit. Go on, Mayu. You are looking at everything that I don't like you looking at. Come on, girl. I don't want to spread uh, run fast too quick, because I know you can't keep up. Why? Why what? Why are you dead? Ghosts! <laughs> no, I'm just going to have that to, like, the door is slightly ajar. Oh, I'm fucking jar mayo. Lol. Let's open up. 16 Manates. Let's see what we've got going on in here then. Hey, it's the room. It's the bay room. Something's strange about this place. Look, there's a ghost in here. There's a torch on the table. It's a torch. Means it's English. If you don't know what a torch is, it is a flashlight. Considering it, like, kind of English people redubbed this one. The battery still seem to be good. Someone must have left it here. Camera obscura pointers. Hey, well, we don't need to read these though. Camera obscura pointers. This camera was made by Dr. Aso to take photographs of beings in the spiritual plane that normally cannot be seen. It can reveal events from the past through the lingering thoughts of individuals. It is also able to photograph spiritual beings that are invisible to the human eye. Taking a photograph of an unseen being has an ex or exorcist. So it's exorcismal effect, but simultaneously creates a sh so sort of link with them. If the camera obscure is used carelessly, these beings may even gain the upper hand on the user. I wonder if I can photograph the site at the heart of this village's forbidden ritual. If Dr. Acer were here, I'm sure he would be excited. Serge Macabre. Nice. It's much older than the torch. Seems as if it's originally from this house. And then we see something else. Why is my foot sticking to? Oh, book. A Tomb Raider 6 walkthrough. I had no choice. That's what it said. It said I had no choice. It's the camera. See, these girls aren't that scientific. They can't see, I don't think. But she knows. I think Mayu has the... More than one. There is five in existence, I believe. I know Aso created it, because obviously the original one broke. So this is the second one in its hand. This is the different one. I think there's five in existence. See, they don't seem very spooked, do they? But I bet they are. This thing is too dangerous. They're always very dangerous. Fucking ended up nearly killing my Miku. <sighs> nearly ended up killing the bay. What's up with you, Mayu? I love the graphics of this game, it's really, really good. I like how their bows represent butterflies as well. Very nice. Very enrichment to the title of the game. I just want to get this game over and record with because I really want to fucking play Prey. I've heard good things about it. Obviously, you've seen me play two parts of it. But hey. Right. 
Can there be a stay button? Yes, I know all the basic... Right, circle is to draw the camera. Okay, so it is the same controls then. Alright. Was it triangle before? No, triangle's my menu button. What the fuck was I trying to get mixed up with? Oh, there's some, back there's some things in here. They look blue. Nope. Alright, door, can you stay closed, please? Because I'm going to go for this blue thing over here, thanks. Mayu, Mayu, Mayo. Mio, Mayu, Mayu, there we go. Help medicine. They're still in the game. Good, good, good. Fucking move, please. Bitch, please move. Thank you. I hate you. <laughs> I will like this before end. Okay, there's another thing around there, so. Anything in the corner? Nope. Alright. Let's giddy giddy go. Oh, this is fucking spooky. If I saw this, I'd be fucking shitting myself. I saw that, I'd be like, yep, fuck this door, I am out. <laughs> That's what I'd be like, I'd be like, you know what, fuck this. I'm, I'm gone. There is a way to switch filming this easily, but I forgot how to do it. And there's like a little button you can press that switches it between your powers. Can we just stay here, please? Mm -hmm. The presence you were feeling in front of the door is gone now. It said you can capture things that ordinary people can't see with this camera. Could this be the power of the camera obscura? Well, let me just try and figure out what fucking button I can press. That was take a picture. I did not want that button. I forgot what button it presses. That is, why is that still red? Oh wait, it's not Resident Evil style, is it? I forgot it's not Resident Evil style. I want my big blue bar. It very pretty. Right. Where can I go? I've been everywhere so far. Apart from I'm not I've not been in the petition room yet, so let's go to that. Come Mayu. Me Oh, someone just walked through here. Let's try and be careful. I don't think it can. Oh, wait, so we have to leave, don't we? So let's do that. Nope. Okay. What are you seeing, Mayu? Is Mio or Mayu? There we go. That's the room I was thinking about, about the partition room. Mio. 23. You can see the shadows in this game a lot more clearly as well. Oh, I could see it a lot more clearly on this TV. Alright, time to take a picture of you, it vanishes at door. Let's see if my camera skills have returned or stayed with me since playing number one. Let's back up a little bit. There we go, take a picture of the vengeance. Is this... Yeah, he does tell me where I take a picture of. Okay, then. Alright. Cold Brazier, I need to go go to that now then. Right, see you later, Vengeance. Uh, right now, let's go back to the Brazier, which is all the way down there, isn't it, towards the end? If I remember correctly. Come on, Mayu. Mayu. Mio! Mio! Love it. Turbo button. That's how you found it out. Because there's some PS2, PS2 controls where you can use the, um, the uh, um, turbo button, or if you press it, hold it. Yeah, like, press it really fast, you just go fucking... Literally lie that all the way through, it's just fucking hilarious. A uh, little jolts, a little... Speed thing. It does look very stupid. I'm not going to reduce these times by half an hour like I did that one time. I know there is, we have to take a picture of the brazier. Probably fight our first ghost, I believe. There we go. All sorted, just try not to get like this... My table digged into me. He got fucking butchered. The Himura family guy. The Himura manster. Manster? Master. Probably came to this village. So I slaughter everyone here too. But no, they're different links. They still link to the spirit realm, but different rituals went fucking wrong. Fucking hell, man. Give me time. Oh yeah, I forgot this one has charge limit. The other one don't. She can't wrap it up in this game. The only way you can get a fatal frame in this game is if the camera charges because it's older. Less well maintained. So let's go back. 
He said, don't come near me, by the way. I'm expecting some spooky ghosts. Ooh, ghosts. I don't want to, like, try and speed myself through this, because I know I'm going to get spooked if I rush along too much. So I know this game can get annoying at points, which is why it's my least favorite Project Zero game. I think they all have my points what I don't like doing, but in this one, there's a certain part that I just cannot stand doing. Let's go into the projection room. There's something about that room I just don't like. I don't know, because I think every game has some part where it's like, I really don't want to do this right about now. Like, there's certain games where it's like, I can do all the way through this game like a million times. Because um, I'd say in this one, it's near towards the end. Probably going through the mansion in this one. I don't mind going through the village. I like the village. I like all the undergrounds. But sometimes in the... Uh, some, some parts in the mansion, I just don't like exploring. I don't like it. It's not because it's spooky or anything. I just don't, don't like it at all. Right. Don't think I'll take a picture of this yet, do I then? But this is where I had to go. For some reason. Okay. You were saying something and I interrupted you. I apologize. Someone, anyone, please rush on. Whoever sees this, look for me. I'm trapped in this village. Help me. What did you say? Did you say a no or a man? And, okay. So I've got it louder than what I usually play this game on. I kind of, I'm kind of, um, hearing new things. There's a ghost nearby because she's doing that. Okay, let's see what's in this kimono box. Something's about to the light. Hey, have a remedy. Okay. Ah, thank you. Mio, I know Mio. I uh, Mayo, sorry. Mayo, Mayo. Mayo and Mio. Okay, makes Mayo in my eyes. It's the sisters. Team Mayo. Okay, what's this? Hey, ginger key. Hey, I needed that. Fucking skills. Fucking skill. Not missed a ghost yet. Probably missed one. I missed two. You missed me. I know you missed your fucking friend, but not me, dude. How did you die? Oh, wait, the ghost killed you, didn't he? Doi. Right, where am I going to fight you? Oh, wait, no fight on you, do I? Alright, that's fine by me. Not fucking missed one yet. Too good at this game. Fucking missed most of my... Well, I wasted one film so far. But I'm, I'm glad to say that I've not missed any yet. Probably will miss some. But I'm on the trigger ball today. I'm feeling a little bit kind of shaky. Feel a bit weak at the heart. But not too much. Not too much today. Not like I do with Project Zero because I always like, feel like a cold chill go down my spine. But, uh, it's not like that today. Not like that at all. Alright. Just gonna see what we're gonna do. Oh, there's a blue dot over there. Just gonna see in these chest of jewels because they might have some, like, Hermel remedies or something like that. Top of one, most things I can get so far. So that when it comes to the big run, there you go. So when it comes to the big game, or the late game, I can get a head start and shit. Okay, I missed one. I missed one while I've had the camera. They had bad placement for that shit. Right, where's this? There it is on the table. On the tablet! One's notebook six. I pick up five, I might have missed five. How much time has passed since I came here? How long will this night last? I can't take the darkness. It's driving me crazy. I have to get out of here. I have to see Masumi. Bless her. She went insane. Well, parts of insane, I guess. Okie doke. Oh, there's one over here too. What's this? I didn't see this before, I don't think. Oh, no, one number seven. I must be tired. If I start to relax, I pass out. Even in a crazy place like this, the darkness here is creeping into my dreams. Slaughter, rivers of blood, fallen people, a woman in a bloodstained kimono, insane laughter, and twin sisters calling out, don't kill me. Wow. That woman's laugh is seared into my mind. I don't want to sleep anymore. Yeah, I feel that, fucking sister. Why did my screen go wobbly wobbly when I pushed Mayo? Mayo? Mew? Mayo. 
fucking Mayu. Alright. I think I spoke too soon on my ghostage. Number number eight. Misumi found my note. He was in the village. I can see him soon. I can't move. I'll wait here. He'll be back. He'll find the way out. If he comes back. He came. The last part of the memo stops abruptly. This would also fucking spook the shit out of me. Why? That would be like, what the fuck? Sup, bubblegum. Aha! She doesn't look that bad, actually. Spirit camera. If you can hear this. So crazy it's going right now. If you want more of a vibration, here you go. You should be able to hear that one. You can excise spirits by taking photographs of them with the camera obscure. The greater the response indicated on the charge gauge in the capture circle, the greater the damage you can inflict on the spirit. When the charge gauge glows red, the instant is a shutter chance. If you can shoot during this instant, you can inflict heavier damage but on the spirit and repel it back further. A blast back. Using this blast ability will push back an approaching spirit. You must have film to shoot when shooting in its succession. You have to wait for the next shot to load before shooting again while loading. Pressing the shutter button will have no effect. Load time is shown in the top right of the screen. We've already seen that bar. Hard power film gives more damage and loads quicker. Alright. Where the fuck are you? Because this is the first fight. I'm going fucking crazy. Oh, it's red in this one, not blue. Oh, it red before, wasn't it? Where the fuck are you at, bitch? Ah, there you are. See, as you can see, the charge gauge is different this time. Didn't get no shot chance on that one, though. I think you need to wait for a full charge attack for it. Where you at? Where you at? You're near me, right? Wait, where are you? Okay, you're, you're definitely near Mayu. Get away from my sister. Oh, fuck. Well... Get rid of my sister. Go on. Skedaddle. Zero shots. Can you just stay out of the way, Mayu? Mio, oh, hello. I wasn't expecting you to be in the corner there. Sorry, because you see the charge gauge in this one's a little bit different from what I'm used to. So. Oh, God. I'll follow you. Aha! Going for the switch of Rooney. Ain't having that crap today. Are you dead now? I would like to have the spirit gauge of the monsters I'm fighting, please. Kind of need that somewhere. I think that's what search does. And the ghost ended up killing her because of all the torment and pain. What happens to these ghosts? They don't know themselves anymore. This all comes explained towards the end. All gets explained. Okay. The shadows. Twin Shrine Maidens, Chapter 2! Nice. Alright, there's something on the floor. An Argonite. Looks like a glowing blue crystal, that spirit must have dropped it. Once you find the spirit stone radio, you can use the radio on the menu to listen to stones. We did this before, but this time you can hear it a little bit more. Spirit orbs. Items used to raise the maximum levels of the camera's basic functions or power-up lenses. Use a spirit orb from function upgrade on the camera menu to increase the maximum level of a camera function um, or power-up lens. After adding a spirit orb to one of the camera's basic functions or power-up lenses, you can raise its level by using the points you've accumulated through capturing spirits. That's basically looks like an upgrade system, so... No difference there. There's some kind of device. It looks like a radio. Huh. Radio. What's going on with that radio? Hey, hey, spirit stone radio pointers. The spirit stone radio. 
Through the use of crystals in its circuits, this improvised version of a crystal radio is able to tune into voices from the spirit world. If a person wears a crystal for a long time, their thoughts will remain within, creating a special type of crystal, a spirit stone. According to Dr. Aso, the radio can also pick up sounds from the spirit world, indicating feelings and intuitions is in a similar, similar manner to those sympathetic phenomenon that occurs between twins, hence why it's in the game. All right, so first of all, we've got one crystal, I think. That's not the radio. That's all the pictures we've taken. Uh, radio, there it is. Of course. Argonite. See what it says. Hmm. She didn't end her sentence before. That's probably when she died. All right, as you can see, we've got no sister now, so yeah, let's fucking run. I like how Mayu has not picked up on that shit. Fucking torch does not do shit. Well, I'm pretty sure there's another note I'm missing somewhere. Definitely missing another note. All right, rip. I don't think I need to come back from here just yet, though. Weird. Very weird. Okay. Ah. What will happen if I explore the mansion like this? Or the village, sorry. I know what we've got to do with her. But it's one of those things like... You can run, but it's not, not very good for her. So I think you might get some bonus points if you just walk with her, considering that's what she'll do. She's not very good at running. She limps around everywhere. But all we gotta do now is uh, follow the butterflies. Ron Weasley is probably preferred dream instead of following the spiders, but hey ho. I would rather follow spiders than follow butterflies if this is the case. Fucking Harry Potter doesn't know what they're talking about, like follow the butterflies. But it might be an Easter egg, I don't know. I can't save in this mode though. So I've just gotta follow the butterflies. As you can see, the ghost kill is waiting for us. I don't know if that's Sahe or Yahe. I couldn't see the front. Considering the twins, they both wore the same kimono. Alright, is it our turn to shine? Mayu. Where did you go, Mayu? Radio. Ooh, boot up. And we're probably going to explore this little house. Considering it's a new chapter, so more shit might have popped up. Like this lens, the slow power up. Effects slows down the movement of a spirit. Spirit power required one. Upgrade extends duration. Temporarily slows down the movement of the spirit being photographed to use press the triangle button when you've charged one or more spirit stone points. While this effect is active, the spirit will move slower and shutter chances will be longer, making the spirit easier to capture. This is especially effective against quick spirits or spirits that are difficult to time. I need to remember this for much later in the game because it's a fucking bitch. Raising level of this effect extends its duration. Okay, ooh, found a measure as well. The measure equipment function. Function shows spirit's HP. Thank fuck, I needed that. When this function is equipped, it shows the remaining HP of the closest spirit in the capture circle in the viewfinder's upper left corner. That is a hint. Because before I think we thought we could fight two in the same room, I was like, hey bitch, what's going on? Right, because in here... I could take a picture of a ghost again. Which is right there. Oh, that is fucking creepy. That is fucking creepy. Alright. Alright, I don't want to be in here anymore. I'm done. Thanks, game. I just don't want to be here anymore. Alright, nothing in this room. I'm just like do it double checking all the rooms again. Might come across a ghost accidentally. But there is some shit that I will want to find. To help me out in the long run. Considering this is a starter place. Not too tricky. Let's go back to our previous two rooms. You fucking scared me, you douchebag. I'm here in you. Right, there's three of you in here, isn't there? Okay, don't know what the evade button is yet. It's not told me about the quick evade. I think it's circle in this game. I'm gonna try and avoid you. Don't want to fight you yet, considering I want to explore a little bit more. 
But I think I can avoid them. But they do tend to walk through walls. Be good. Yeah, okay, this game's like... Just like the other one, I guess. Just double checking so I don't lose anything. You know, like just misplace anything or forget about something, so... Do bear with me while I search around. So now I've got to come back... Through this area, but all the good shit's going to be gone. So I'm just double checking I get all the good shit now. Because some shit can change. Um, it's making me remind me of number three right about now, and I don't know why. Some parts of number three I just cannot forget. Like some of the spooky shit you'll ever fucking see. Like badly as well, because it's so fucking terrifying. Wait, there's a thing out here. Very blurry, isn't it? Village report number one. Didn't know this. <clears throat> Maybe listening to the missing surveyors. For some reason, one of the statues is in the form of twins. I have also found a description of a twin deity statue in the writings laying around the house. Oh, I looked down in the old well, but it was pitch black and I couldn't see a thing. If you listen closely, you can hear, only hear the wind blowing, and it seems that the water has all dried up. I can't tell. I found a small shrine at the top of the long flight of stairs shrouded in mist. It seems very old but it is very well made and has not fallen into despair. The entrance has a large butterfly. I came to this hill to take a look at the gate I passed through when I entered the village, but when I tried to find it... See, there's like blurry fucking shit in the middle. Like, if you look through it carefully... Why the fuck am I facing? Look, because it's just fucking weird, man. Don't get why it's so blurry. It's just a weird, shitty effect. Can you see, like, the ghost of a silhouette or something like that? What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, I'm gonna go. That is fucking creepy. I fucking hate pictures like that. How there's no blue circle. And you can just take a picture of it and it's like, oh yeah, by the way, this is a woman on deck. No. If you could see right now, my, uh... All the hairs on my arm are literally standing to attention. Alright. I've not had a spook like that in a very long time for this game. Okay, these douchebags are going to turn up again, aren't they? Or did I do the skill and avoid them all? Oh yeah! Got the skills to avoid the ghosts. Nice. I'm going to go in here first, though. Saving it. Probably going to have to fight a ghost as well. Yeah, most likely gonna fight a ghost with that camera angle. Yep, knew it. <clears throat> he still got me. I knew, I didn't know why it was so shady before. I've noticed it was shady. Like, why is it so shady? It's like, I don't know why it's spooky, like you heard me say. I've just seen it. Fuck. It is not the scariest thing I've seen in Project Zero history, but. It is one of them. It really is one of them. Top one, the top two, ghosted number three. By far, ghost and number three. Holy shit, the scares in number three. Those two, three specific moments in Project Zero slash Fatal Frame 3 that just fucking get me every time. I just can't handle it. It's just one of those spooky things like, I don't want to do that anymore. I never want to see that again. I'll never forget the spooks of that shit. Fuck that noise. Alright. I might die to you because I'm useless. 
But I can only attack ghosts in this game if I see their face. Just like Broken Egg in the old one. Just fucking, I've got to be quick on the ball. I missed. Getting ready for my circle button. Getting ready for all my fucking buttons. Okay, don't know which button it is, to be exact, so... Good luck on knowing that one. Not the first time I've seen you, though, so... Very... Fuck, I missed it again. I'm just gonna, like, run past you. Right, bye. Do I have quick... Nope. Did I miss it again? No, I got it that time. Okay, good. I press triangle because I can press fucking triangle these days. Where you at? Where you at? Okay, you're that way. There you are, I've seen you. You can see like little blue marks have popped up now. For fuck's sake. Oh, charge, charge film. Fucking take the picture. Okay, good. Good. As you can tell, the light in the background is a little bit dimmer than what it should be. Okay. I pressed fucking triangle again. Okay, where are I? I see the ghost through this. Okay, we missed it. Well, she missed it anyway, so that's good. She's gotta be careful now, because she's quite fast. At least she's still there, though. I panic! I panic in this game a lot more than what I should do. Right, she's dead anyway, so... Good. It's not safe to save at the moment. Yep, yeah, there you go. Dim glow. It can save. Yay! Thank you. Why I feel like something's burning? I smell burning. Right, save the game. Because... There is one more save point nearby. I'll probably save it at that one and then end it there for today. Because it's not that long away either. This game does take a while to save though. It's got a lot of data in this game. Not as big as number one. But still quite the spooks. Okay, let's see what your last thoughts were. Boostone! I think that means like the last thought you did it with them, I think. I don't fucking know. I was just trying to get rid of some shit in my head at the moment. Right, moves down. And then from that point on, she became heartless. Became the nobody, Loxan. If that's how you say her name, Loxine, Loxan. I've not heard her name. I've seen her name written down, but not heard her name be said, I think. Definitely not Vexen. He's an asshole. And definitely not the other girl or person, because also they're an asshole. And she's just a fucking bitch. Loxine is very, very bitchy. Alright. <clears throat> Avoided fighting three ghosts in one room, so that was good. Okay. There's something on the floor. My use charm. Let me just go read that real quick. Back to the radio again. Like I said. Oh, my use charm, there it is. Deep into the village we go. No, it's not us. No, it's not us. I know the, I know what all this means because Yeah, it just got aside. Go to the safe point around the corner and then end the video. Which I should have just done that anyway. Could have avoided that fucking tie fight, ghost. This is what you fight. Oh, we'll find you see this over there, look see so. Let's go see what else we can be seen or can be done. So do find our way down there, they gotta find some keys and shit. So let's go do that first. Then because she went down there. But we're gonna go here. To save 
the game. Same as Guys Project Zero One, if you didn't know it. But anyway, I know we just only just saved it, but like I said, save it at this one. So I'm gonna leave that there for Project Zero Two: The Crimson Butterfly or Fatal Frame Two: Crimson Butterfly. Uh, we had one spook so far, so that's one for one. I don't think I got that spook scared in number two. In number one, I think I like I got used to it after a while because I played it so often. In this one, I haven't played it as much. Finished it twice. I think well, I finished number one now four times. I think that one, the last playthrough was my fourth playthrough. This is my third playthrough. And Project Zero Three, I've only finished that once. Uh, I've played it twice, but only finished it once on those playthroughs because that's how it all went. Probably could savor the Project Zero Three gameplay and record it myself from where we left off. So, like, just get all those videos for offline and probably upload them because they are my content anyway. So it's all good. But anyway. That is it for today with um, Fatal Frame 2 Crimson Butterfly. And as always, this is Rick's Light, signing out.